Smart Voice Recorder from TC Tech. In the box, you will find a manual. On the front of the manual, you'll find a QR code that you must scan to download the app. Be sure to download the app so that way you can begin storing and listening to your files. You'll find the recorder and a few other accessories. You have a USB-A to USB-C cable. This will also help you charge the recording device. You will also find a headphone with a USB-C connection. This will help you record and also listen to your audio. To install the TC Tech recording app, you want to make sure you scan the QR code. If you have an iPhone, scan the one on the left. If you have Android, scan the one on the right. It will take you to the App Store, which then you can install the TC Tech recording. This has already been installed, so I'll show you what it looks like when you open it. The app will require you to log in, but you must first enroll. So make sure you click on Enroll, and you'll be asked for your email and a password and it will provide you a verification code that you can enter. The recorder itself has two buttons. You have a recording button, you have an on and off switch. So we switch this on, which then allows you to begin recording. Once it is on, you simply long press the very top button to begin recording, and you'll see a red, little red light. Tap it, it will pause recording, and it will show a solid red light. Tap it again, simply resumes. If you wish to stop recording, you just long press the recording button, and it says saved. From there, you'll be able to review the file and upload it in the app. Once you have the app installed, the first thing you want to make sure is that the recorder is connected to the app. This is indicated by the top left indicator that says not connected. By turning on your recorder, which I will do here in a second, you'll notice that the very top left will change from not connected to connected. From here, you can now record directly within the app itself. This is very important as the app will not function correctly unless the recorder is connected. From here, you want to hit the speaker button on the very bottom to begin recording within the app. Tap that button will take you to the recording screen. Tapping the middle speaker button will begin recording. Tapping it one more time will pause and then tapping the speaker button again will resume recording. When you are done recording, you simply either can hit pause and save or directly hit the save button on the bottom right. This will save the new file at the very top. From here, you can begin to transcribe. Once you complete a recording on the recorder itself and wish to see the file within the app, you first want to make sure that the recorder is connected to the app as indicated on the top left icon there that says connected. Once connected, you simply swipe down on the screen and it will load up the file that's on the very top. In some cases where the play button is, you might have to transfer the file if it's on done offline. So you want to make sure you click on that in order to transfer that. Now once the file is transferred, you can simply click on it and begin your transcription. From here, you can see transcription and simply select that button to begin transcribing. Select the language. In this case here, we'll use English. And then the type of template you like to use to summarize, we'll use meeting notes in this case. And simply hit start transcribing. Give it a moment and it'll complete its transcription. From here, you can view the summary. You can view the mind map. And if you'd like to edit to a transcription and you'd like to make some changes, there's an edit button that shows a little pencil. Click on that button, and then you can begin selecting the text that you'd like to edit. If you'd like to save, simply hit the checkbox on the top right. Once your changes are saved, you can simply hit the back button on the top left. Go back to the main screen and you can simply hit back again. And if you like to delete the file, you simply swipe left of the file, hit delete, 
and confirm that you'd like to delete the file and it will go to the recycle bin. If you want to convert the audio recording to a different format, click at it. Then click on this icon. Select the structure you want to reformat the transcription into. The result will give you the transcription content in a different structure. On your TC Tech Smart Voice Recorder, you have the ability to export your transcription and the file and audio itself. To do so, you want to go into the app and click on the file that you wish to export. Once you're in the transcription section, you want to click on the three dots on the top right. You'll see an export option. Click on that. And you'll have a few options here. You have audio, transcription, summary, and mind map. If you wish to export your audio, it'll be straight to a audio file where you would like to share and save to your device. Transcription has a few more options. You can export via a text, a text file, or a markdown file. Similarly, if you go back to export, the summary would have the exact same options to text, text file, or markdown file. Going back to export options again, if you go to the mind map, you have a slightly different set of options here where you will have an image or markdown file to export a mind map. So again, on the very top right, you have your three dots, hit export, and it'll display multiple options for you to export your transcriptions and your audio file. Your TC Tech Smart Voice Recorder comes with 20 hours of free transcription time. To view your balance, you simply go into the app and on the bottom right, you click on me, which is your profile. Now your transcription time will show here as long as your recorder is connected to the app. Otherwise, it will show a balance of zero as the transcription time is binded to the actual device itself. If you wish to purchase more transcription time, you simply tap the button to the right, which says top up now. Simply click on it and it will give you some options to purchase additional transcription time, whether it's 60 minutes, 600 minutes, or 6,000 minutes.